what's happening guys and welcome back to our youtube channel doing some cooking for you from some of our favorite cookbooks i've got four of my favorite cookbooks right here for you and we made four or five meals oh gosh i can't remember it's all from these gems let me tell you about them so usually when i meal plan or Frederick and i Frederick and I meal plan. <laughs> He's actually sitting right here next to me doing his work. But when we meal plan, usually it's a combination of the cookbooks, Pinterest board, things that are simple, repeat, and things that I've saved on Instagram. This week we decided all from the cookbook. So as you can see, the quarantine has made me do some crazy things like tag all my recipe that I wanna cook. How am I get all through these? Nobody knows, nobody knows. So I've got them all jotted down in my planner for the week. Sometimes we'll put it all in the fridge to see what is on there in this case. We are putting it out with the page number so that Frederick or I can cook these dishes. Y'all, this is gonna be really good. And what else do you have to do in a quarantine besides get your cook on? So let's go. One, the Define Dish. Alex is my girl, she just don't know it. And she lives in Dallas and has a bomb, bomb cookbook. I have like I mean, there was maybe one dish that I didn't like and I've cooked like a million of them. And the reason I didn't like it is because it was so spicy, I couldn't handle it. But everything else is so good. I've got this guy entertained with a graham cracker. And some screen time. Because we're on to the final step, which is your chicken in the oil. Then we're gonna put some of this sauce on it. We were supposed to have a, a ball of fresh buffalo mozzarella, but quarantine. So it's just gonna be regular mozzarella on top of that. So let's see how this comes out. Was gonna do veggies, but quarantine. Also, Zane just stole my cookbook. Let's also say I am not a chef. I need cookbooks and cookbooks need me. Also, there might have been some burnt chicken under there. Who knows, because there's sauce and cheese. Now in the oven for 12 minutes, get that cheese nice and bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. All right, guys, we did it. Look at that bubble. And here we go, the finished product. And Zane's eating some too, right? Mmm. And Patrick's eating them, but he doesn't have a shirt on, so I can't film him. The queen. Does she do it all? Does she do it all, y'all? Do it all, y'all. It's Joe Miss. Joanna Gaines, straight from Waco, Texas, giving up those fun and friendly family meals and we'll be cooking out of that. Well, hello there. It is my second meal that I'm gonna show you. And it comes from my girl, Joanna. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna give Joanna half the credit. I'm gonna give myself the other half the credit because let's just say I was inspired by her recipe, but I really didn't follow it because Again, how many times am I gonna say this quarantine? I've got all the ingredients. It's a Saturday, Zane is napping, Fedrick is working out. Look what I have. Blackened fish tacos with a mango little salsa um, recipe that is actually from Bon Appetit that I rearranged. So just call me. Chef Jacqueline, Chef Jacqueline. Chef Jacqueline, Chef Jacqueline. This has like a bunch of spices and um, just a bunch of spices. You could really use anything. I just 
black I blackened it on the cast iron which can you believe I've only had a cast iron for like six months of my life what was I thinking paprika cumin 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 <laughs> um, garlic salt chili powder salt pepper and lime and then I just marinated that for like 30 minutes that is one mango cilantro two tablespoons of olive oil some garlic um, lime zest and jalapenos to make it hotter you could do a serrano pepper and I was supposed to put red onion that's why it's my own little twist but I didn't have it so that's gonna give it a stronger taste as well also during this pregnancy I've been craving a lot of black beans and so this is literally canned black beans with a bunch of spice thrown into it I think I put garlic in there just like whatever you can find throw it in there I also have all the windows open because frying fish is no joke well I didn't fry it but you know but it's a beautiful day outside oh. it's time to make your taco and I finished just as I we hear Zane crying <laughs> So I'm gonna put this in a little sh in a little taco shell. I'm gonna put a little mango, and then we're gonna get after it, okay? Oh my god! Oh yeah. Okay, Frederick's gonna dive in. See what he thinks. See if it's husband approved. Island approved. Oh yeah, well that's true. Island approved. I'm a fish expert. Good. I don't approve. <laughs> then you know no cookbook collection is complete without Miss Chrissy Teigen. I actually have both. <laughs> Bam! Both her books and I'll be cooking from the second one. Now on the menu, we've got the grilled Thai glazed chicken wing. What are we doing over here, chef? I don't know who's really chef. <laughs> this really is your chef. meal, huh? I'm about to take Christy's Tegan recipe from a... Christy's <laughs> Tegan? Christy Tegan's recipe from drive to fab. <laughs> That's what I'm about to So say. you're saying because the recipe's in the cookbook, it's not already fab? It's fab, but the fact that I am preparing is going to take it to another level. So you're doing your chopping the jalapenos. Chopping some jalapenos, using these instead of, I don't know, some Thai pepper things she had. So <laughs> just got to make do. Chef it up. Chef it up, and then you got your little sauce, your marination, which is, is marination a word? Nope. We just got done watching Happy Feet on a Sunday, and look at me. I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> Make some rice. I'm gonna bake some. Chef okra. coming through. Chef coming through. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chef coming through. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Being real mean to Alexa. She's not listening. <laughs> Usually I'm mean. All right, got the wings going. Coconut rice, and then let's see this. Oh, oh yeah. Keep my steam. That's locked not from in. the box, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me, and then I'm roasting some okra down there, which is my favorite. And to top off the Sunday, Zane exploded in his diaper all over my couch, so there you go. <laughs> Wings and toddler explosions, and now I'm literally deep washing our couch covers. Okay, now we got the wings soaking. Uh, they're marinating. Oh, they're marinating. marinating. Excuse me. Uh, marinating. About to get this next batch get going it. Here. I'm coming at you live from our kitchen where Fedrick is putting Larry C. Was this? You know what it is. If you don't know what it is, how you get talking about it? Larry's seasoning salt on these Thai chicken wings, y'all. 
We have gone off the recipe. This is nothing the recipe. First of all, Chrissy grilled her wings. We do not have a grill, so we oven baked them. I'm sure it's better on the grill, but now we're doctoring and it, the taste out. is still really good. But now he- Earlier I said I was taking it to the next level. Let's go into the next level. We don't need Lowry's Christy, on our Christy, on our Thai glazed Christy, chicken wing. Christy, talk about this recipe. I got you. <laughs> he said there was not enough salt. But looked on the recipe and salt is mentioned. He not just a lot, though. forgot not the salt. No. Shade. Salty no. shade. Tonight's dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh, the smoke. Tonight's dinner. From the Define Dish. Y'all, this recipe. Why do I keep saying recipe book? It's called a cookbook. It's. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm choking because of the spices on the chicken. <laughs> yeah, we open a window. Every time I've been cooking with spices, I've been like choking. Better open the window. Okay, well, I can't breathe over here. Mixing some chicken broth and some arrowroot and some lemon. Gonna whisk that, whisk it with my left hand. <laughs> well, look at my nose. It's bright red. I don't know if it's pregnancy or the small living quarters. It's like I'm coughing every time I use any kind of peppers. No, All right, well our fries just came out. Nothing crazy here, just cutting up a potato, putting salt and pepper, and baking them on 400 for, oh gosh, I think like 15 something minutes. Hey, what's your favorite word? Can you tell everybody what your favorite word is? Airplane. <gasps> <laughs> also, I love listening either to music, a podcast, or watching other YouTube videos while I'm cooking. Uh, we got the chicken. It's looking mozzy fine. The fries. And now I'm making this sauce to go on the chicken, which was a broth, lemon, juice, butter, um, the scrapes, like bits and pieces of the, <laughs> bits and pieces of the chicken. It's just coming together, y'all. And nothing like cooking your classy dinner. What is that on your plate, Frederick? Chick fil A Polynesian, well, Polynesian sauce. Polynesian chicken. <laughs> the best sauce known to man. Oh, man. This is a newbie. Uh, super simple, half baked harvest. Y'all, the uh, the recipe that we're cooking from this will be the first time from this book, but I have cooked her recipes before from our blog. And I got to see her from a distance in Williamson now the other day. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is our final dish. Jalapeno, garlic, butter, shrimp. Half-baked, harvest, super, I <laughs> can't talk. Tell us, Frederick. Skill is getting hot. Skillet's getting hot. Anyway, what do we got in there? I had mar marinated the shrimp according to the recipe. It's going down. About to let these things sizzle for a little bit. Sizzle. All right, okay. let's do this thing. Let's do that thing. Here we go. Here we go. You hear that sizzle? Hey. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's too much sizzle. Too much sizzle. Too much sizzle. Uh, where did you get that? Right on the floor. <laughs> Don't be far. And then we're going to do, we're going to do some of this. And then we're gonna do some Brussels sprouts, right, Pedro? Really probably confused why I'm cooking again. So you know what? Once a chef, always a chef. No matter how long a break you take. I don't think anybody's actually confused. You don't think so? <laughs> I think people people just think I don't cook anymore. New cook. Okay. Uh, so what's on here? What's on the mar what's in the marinade? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of garlic, uh, some lemon juice, some lime juice, uh, jalapenos, a couple of jalapenos in here. Garlic's in here somewhere, and I think I missed out. I think there's a dash of honey. Is I just gave away the whole recipe. Did you just fart? No, that was me. <laughs> no, I was saying I wouldn't do that to people. To people, I'm That's the one that has to smell it. 
Hey, if I was to do that, they would smell it through a camera. Okay, bye. <laughs> Frederick, how are you gonna let me put Brussels sprouts in an oven that's not even on? Not even on. I was like, that's a very cool oven for them Brussels sprouts. Yeah. This is supposed to be Frederick's meal, not uh -huh. my meal. Hi. It still is. You, Hi. Jumped, you jumped in there. Uh -huh. Oh, kisses, kisses. Oh, 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 guys, ow. Okay. Finished. Final way to go, product. chef. Way to go, way to go, way to go, way to go. Okay. That was, oh wow. Okay. You cook one meal and look what he does. One. <laughs> Rewind. Check the rest of the stats. <laughs> Who is ready? Oh, does this make me like a super nerd if this stuff excites me? Like, am I finally that human? I don't care. All right, that's all we have for the cooking this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I just love, 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 love cooking. Um, there's something about bringing people to the table, and in this case, it's my husband and my toddler. But one day, it will be family and friends again. But I would love to know what you guys are cooking, or even like share your favorite recipe or what you've been cooking during this quarantine. Anyways. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and let us know what you guys would like to see in the future. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.